It's inevitable when it comes to 3D print design, sometimes you need it to interact with the real world. So we need to figure out how to create a fitting of some sort, and that can feel very convoluted, having to get calipers, measurements, and CAD workflows all over the place, but we're overthinking it. This is 3D printing. We have pretty large tolerances, so all we really need is a camera and a ruler. And a small portion of this video is sponsored by PCBWay. Jumping straight into it, the first thing you want to do is get the two parts that you're wanting to create a fitting for, put them in a private room and tell them to get along. Failing that and duct tape, what you're wanting to do is figure out what the main mating face is to your usually another 3D print design. That face, you want it to face you and then you're wanting to go far away from it not that far away from it, far enough away that when you're using your phone or a camera of some sort, when you zoom in as far in as possible, this looks as flat as it can be. Now we're zooming in as far as possible because we're wanting to use the longest focal length, which means things will be as orthographic and as flat as possible. Once you've taken this image, this is what you're gonna put into your 3D software. For me, I'm gonna be using Blender here, and then I'm literally just drag and dropping the image in, and I'm gonna orientate it in a way that is based basically easy to design with. The first major flaw that is staring us right in the face is that this is definitely not up to scale. So here comes the first measurement. I'm gonna be getting the measurement from here to there, that for me is 46 millimeters, and I'm gonna create myself a 46 millimeter cube so that I have some sort of scale reference. I'm gonna scale this image to fit correctly to my scale reference cube, and then I'm just gonna do some precision modeling to get this into a rectangular shape that fits this correctly. So I'm sure you're starting to get the gist of it here and you might be asking yourself how accurate can this really actually be? Well I've found that it's a little bit of luck of the draw but for most applications even rather big ones it's about 0.2 millimeter margin of error. It increases the bigger you get but just to show you this here this is what 31.95 and in Blender we are darn close. Now from this point onwards, you can almost pretty much guess the rest of the workflow. We're gonna do the same, but for the, all the face elements here. We're just gonna bring in primitive shapes and then place them in place so that it basically gets as close as possible. Now, one thing that I like to do is I round everything up or down by one or two decimal places, because at the end of the day, when you're doing machining work, most of the time it's not some random number. Now, there is something else you've gotta keep in mind while we're doing all of these shapes, including the outside, which is the 3D printing tolerance. This here is my little crystal clearance tower test and tells you what exactly your tolerance is. Make sure you add this into the design. For me, it's about a 0.1, so I'm gonna make sure that I make everything 0.1 a little bit bigger. And then by the end of it, I've got all these primitive shapes here that give me the first mating face. Now, of course, there's no actual height to any of this. So if you're wanting to go that one step further with your design, you can do the exact same workflow, but take a picture of a completely different face this time and do exactly the same. Again, you already have the length of this and now you actually even have it inside of your 3D modeling program. So you can use that as a reference point and just carry on going as much as you want. Now, after a little bit of tinkering around, I got to this mating plate right here. Now let's 3D print it and see how the fit goes. But just before that, let's quickly pay those bills with today's sponsor. PCB Way is a game changer for makers with their vast range of cost-effective services, from PCBs to CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and every imaginable 3D printing process. Click the link in the description to explore your world of maker possibilities with PCB Way. And a big thank you to PCB Way for sponsoring this video. And here we have that print. Let's check if it fits. It fits perfectly, no rattle, in case you can't tell from that, because obviously you can't. I did another version here that has all the holes and that just fitting in super duper suddenly, very nice. And truly now with this, I can go on and carry on my design away. Remember, the key thing here when it comes to precision modeling is to get the final function. I'm looking for a fit that's gonna fit that's doesn't rattle about. 
Sometimes you don't have to be ridiculously accurate about that. And sometimes you do. The main thing here is keep in mind the final fabrication process that you're using here. So in this case, FDM 3D printing, and you're dealing with filament. No matter what, you're gonna have one to two decimal places of inaccuracy. So go ahead and play around with that, letting you just get making quicker. So use this workflow. I really hope it helped out. And a massive thank you to my patrons. Truly, you guys are absolutely awesome. And without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I do here on Maker Tales. And if you're enjoying what I'm making here, and you think I'm worthy of your support, I would love to see you there too. Remember that we have a Discord. Thank you for watching. Keep making and let the quest continue.